Good morning, Veritas scientists. We are in my basement, ready for our last lesson of the year for science. So congratulations, you made it through the year of fifth grade. Um, here we go, we're gonna start with this little review of what we've learned the last two times we learned about uh, the moon and space. And Charlie's going crazy because he knows he's on camera, I guess. Um, and I got my helper, Jojo, say hi. And we got Charlie, he's looking at me, but you can't see him right now. I'm sure you'll see plenty of him. All right, so here we go. Okay, good. All right, now you gotta hold it up. Hold it like this, on the sides. But Daddy, you said I couldn't do it like that. Oh yeah. Okay, so there's eight different moon phases. The first moon phase, so basically moon phases are the different ways that the moon looks throughout the month. So it takes the moon about 28 days to go all the way around the earth. Okay, so for the moon, if this is the moon and my hand is the earth, it takes almost a whole month. It takes 28 days for the moon to travel once around the earth. Okay, so it rotates around the earth one time every month or so. Okay, so throughout the month, when we look up at the moon, it looks differently. And every time we look at it, they're called different moon phases are the different ways that they look. Okay. So, just make sure he's not blocking the board. Okay. Good boy, Charlie. Okay, so you get. What am I gonna be? Can you hold this, please? Charlie, lay down. Go ahead, lay down. Like Good this? boy. Yep. Okay, so the first moon phase is called a new moon, and that's when we actually can't even see the moon. So even if it was a nice night and there were no clouds in the sky and you looked outside, you wouldn't be able to see the moon because we're gonna show you in a little bit why. Because basically, it's the shadow that we're looking at. We're looking at the moon at the dark side of it, right? It's not being shined on by the light. So let me, I'll explain more of that in a little bit, okay? The second phase is called a waxing crescent. So waxing means that it's getting bigger. It means that the light is getting more and more and more light every day if it's waxing, okay? So it's a waxing crescent because the crescent is the shape of it. So it's waxing because the light is actually going to get bigger. And you'll notice as we go through the phases right now, there's going to be more and more light until it gets to a full moon. So when that's happening, it's called waxing. It's getting bigger. Okay? So first we have new moon. Then we have a waxing crescent. Then we have what's called the first quarter moon. It looks like you're looking at half of the moon. Right? So when you look up, you say, oh, exactly half the moon is showing. It's actually called the first quarter, and I'll explain why it's a quarter of the moon in a minute instead. But that's what it's called, is the first quarter, okay? After the first quarter, the next phase is called a waxing gibbous. So it's waxing because you'll see the light is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's still, get, it's still waxing. Can you move that there? And it's a gibbous because gibbous describes the shape of it. So a gibbous is more than half. So I drew this little dotted line to show you that this is the full side. This side is more than half, but it's still... Like, to be a full moon, it would have to be way out here like this, right? So it's somewhere between half, or this first quarter, and a full moon. Anywhere between that, when it's showing a little more than half, not quite a full moon yet, is called a gibbous. So that's a waxing gibbous because the light is still getting bigger, right? More and more and more light. So it's waxing. Then you get to a full moon. That's when you can see the complete circle of the moon. Okay? After that... Once you see the whole thing, it starts getting smaller at that point, right? The light is going to be getting less and less and less and less. So now, it's actually the other side of the moon that you can see, though. So now, this side of the moon is the part that's, like, full, and the other side starts waning. It starts having less and less light. So a full circle would be way over here like this, right? That would be a full moon. So a waning gibbous is anywhere that's more than half, this is the half line, anywhere more than half but less than a full moon, right? It's called a gibbous. So that's a waning gibbous because the light now went from a full moon and now it's getting a little smaller. It's waning, okay? And gibbous describes that shape of being a little more than half but less than a full moon. The next phase is called a qu uh, the third quarter moon, okay? So again, it looks like half a moon exactly. So if you looked up, you'd say, oh, half of the moon is showing. It's actually called the third quarter. So we had the first quarter was when the half was showing on the other side. And it's called the third quarter. Whoop. Charlie. Yeah, he didn't like that sound. You're doing good. The third quarter is when the other side of 
the moon is shown. See how this is the full side here? It's the opposite in the third quarter. It's going this way. And I'll, tell you, I'll explain in a little bit how you can tell the difference between waning and waxing in first quarter versus third quarter. Okay, and the last one, the eighth phase, is called a waning crescent. Again, it's waning because you see the light has been getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And crescent describes the shape of it. It's that crescent sliver shape. Okay, we've got to hold it so the camera can see it. Okay, so those are the different eight different phases of the moon. Okay, now we're going to show you, we're going to do a little demonstration, and we're going to show you how it works using Jojo as the sun with my flashlight, and we're going to get the moon as the ball, and I'm going to hold the tripod, and I'm going to represent the earth. So we'll see how this works. Okay, great job. High five. Yeah. All right, go ahead. You go and get the flashlight, Jojo. All right. Okay. Such a good helper. Okay, press it three times. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Bright, it's as bright as it can be. Yes. Okay, you're doing great. Okay, so that's the sun. Jojo, you are the sun. It's representing the light. The green is the moon. So notice the moon doesn't make any light of its own, right? Stay right there like that. Nope, point it the other way. The moon by itself makes no light at all. There is zero light. The only light that we can see is the actual light that's coming from the sun that's shining on the moon. So when we look up at the sky, it looks like the moon is bright. It is bright. It's actually the sun's light that's reflecting off of the moon. All right? So we are the earth, right? So pretend like what you can see from the camera is you looking up at the sky at night. Okay, Charlie, you're going to have to watch out though. Okay, so now your job now, Jojo, is to point it directly at the moon and don't get it off at all. Just point it straight like that the whole time. Look, I can see a shadow, Charlie's shadow. Yeah, okay, right there. Okay. Okay, so here's the moon. Notice if I'm looking... Let me zoom out. Gotta keep this still. Charlie, get out of the way, please. Okay. All right, doing good, Jojo. Okay, so see how the sun is shining on the moon and we're in the earth, looking at the back of it? Can't see any of it. It's a shadow. That's a new moon. The sun's on the other side. You can't see the moon at all. Okay? If you were to look at it like that, see how the whole moon is dark? It's because it's in a shadow. That's called a new moon. So even if we could see it, even if you looked up in the sky and it was a clear night, you would not be able to see the moon because all we're looking at is the the part of it that the sun is not shining on okay then keep this keep the light still okay Jojo I, I can. My hand just oh you're doing good yeah just like that so as the earth the, the moon is actually moving around the earth but I'm actually gonna have to move, move the earth just to make this work if we're looking at it now see how it's like a crescent shape Joe Charlie so if you look over here is a crescent so I'm actually going the wrong direction. I should be going this way because that is a waning crescent. I'll show you in a minute. So I should be going this direction. So it was a new moon. And then now look at the moon. Look at the ball. See how it's the shape of a crescent over here. That's the first moon phase, the second moon phase. First we had new moon. You couldn't see it. Now we're over here. It's a crescent. Can you see the ball? The side of this ball is the moon. That is a crescent shape that we can see. Now, as I continue, the moon is actually turning around the earth, but now, there we are. We're at a first quarter. See how half of it is lit up? That's the moon we're looking at. It looks to me like half of it is lit up. That's because the sun is only shining on that side, and that's the side we're looking at of the moon. So you can see that is a first quarter moon that we can see right now, okay? Then, as the moon continues to revolve around the earth, you get to a, let's get to the gibbous. There's a gibbous. So that's a waxing gibbous because there's been more and more light every time I've moved, right? And you can see that it's more than half. More than half is full, but you can see that there's still part of it in the shadow over here that you can't see the full moon yet. Okay, so this is a waxing gibbous. Then we move it to over here and look at that. It's a full moon. We're looking at the moon. We can see the side that the sun is shining on completely. Excuse me. And that is a full moon. Jojo, you're doing awesome. Okay, and then after the full moon, the moon keeps turning around the earth, and look at this. 
now it is a waning gibbous because it's not a full moon anymore so less light is being shown watch out Charlie watch out. come over here this side good boy no he's doing good he doesn't know what we're doing okay so that is a waning gibbous because you can see it's less than a full moon now right and this side is the part that's having less and less light keep it shining right at it Jordan okay then now that's a third quarter moon. See how it looks like half of it is lit up? That's the third quarter moon. And then as the moon continues to revolve around, there is the waning crescent. So it's waning because again, the light is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. After the waning crescent, we're back to the new moon where we can't see the light even though the sunlight is still shining. We look up, you can't see the moon at all. Good job, Jojo. Give Jojo some snaps. Let's see. Good work over there. You can shut the flashlight off. Click it one more time. Good job, Charlie. I know you tried. You did a good boy. Okay. Is there anything else, Jojo? You wanted to show gymnastics real quick, but we're at 11 minutes, so let's do it quick, quick, quick. Yes. Okay, thank you for being my helper. And you're welcome. Okay, let's see some gymnastics jumps. And let's... Oh, yeah. She can do a flip. Let's see a flip. Oh, and, and good. Something needs to be here. Yep, less swinging, right? Well, yeah. Go ahead, do it. But I need some stuff to be there. Oh, you know? in case you fall, you want it to be soft. Yeah, good. Can you help me? Why don't we put a blanket there? And then I just bought some extra pillows. Okay. So just in case, you know, for emergencies. Okay. All right. Good thinking. Safety first. <laughs> Charlie's gonna try to lay right there. Charlie, <laughs> move, move. Charlie, move. Don't, don't, don't. Jojo, remember this is my video still, so we're almost done. <laughs> Just gonna try to do this quick. Watch out, Charlie. Come on. Very quick. And I'm not okay, let's see it. Let's see your flip. Okay, nice and slow. Nope, you can't spit. You can't swing that much, right? Good. 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 Nice try. One more try. Okay, remember you're doing a little bit of swing in there. We're going to try not to swing so much. Maybe I can try this. Try it from that side. Yep. Charlie, Okay, no. take a deep breath. Okay, Charlie. Okay. Put your feet up, but then you got to kind of, yep, make it so that you don't swing so much. Uh. <laughs> All right, nice try. Stand up and say thank you, everybody. Good job, Jojo. I want to show them. So then you got to do it again. Ready? No swinging. Go ahead and get... Okay, so put... Yeah, you haven't done this in a while. Good. Put your feet up there. And then you can't swing so much when you start. So, yep, just right. Go ahead. Good. Now you're not swinging. Good. Oh. It's okay. Get up and try one more time. You got this. Everybody snap on JoJo. Say, go, JoJo, go, JoJo. You can do it. Go ahead. You can do it. I've seen you do it a hundred times. Okay, just no swinging, right? Hang low from it first. Just kind of hang from it with your arms. Good. Now pull your feet up. Good. You got this, girl. My hands. Lovely. Yep. Okay, shake out your hands. Shake out your hands. Come on. You can do it. Good. Now go ahead. Maybe let's try the other side now. Sounds good. Go ahead. I always like it when, it, when it's cold. Good, you gotta go. Oh, that was the closest one so far. It was. Just gotta do less swinging. Want me to help you? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Put your hands up there. Did you see that? Okay, I'm gonna have to shut this off soon though, okay? I'm gonna run out of a battery. Okay, ready? So keep your hand, hang from it like this. Nope, hang first. Yep, now pull your feet up. Good. Good, good. Now flip, swing through. Go ahead. Yeah, she did it. Nice job. <laughs> Say good job, Jojo. Good flip. Good boy, Charlie. Let me do your paw. Oh, yeah, good boy. Good boy. All right, good boy. Okay, say bye, everybody. Thanks, Veritas. Nice job. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye. 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 Bye.